Dear friends in Christ, Pope Francis has chosen the theme for this year's Migrants and Refugee Sunday, Child's Migrants, the Vulnerable and the Voiceless. He reminds us that migration today is not only a phenomenon limited to some areas of the planet, it affects all continents and is a growing into a tragic situation of global proportions. As such, it is part and parcel of our lived reality as church and society, even here in the Diocese of Parramatta. So how do we give a voice to the voiceless and vulnerable? The first step is to get informed and get involved. As a church and with local communities, we can bring about concrete change. Solidarity with people in these situations is very important. We need to become aware of people's stories and experiences and where possible make others aware as well by uniting with those vulnerable people, especially children. As Catholics and along with our Catholic institutions, we can bring about positive and permanent change. There are already many Catholic and community organizations that raise awareness of this issue and provide assistance to countless asylum seekers and refugees. They need to be greatly encouraged and promoted. We all need to bring about change locally and in countries where migrants leave for a better life. As Pope Francis encourages us, we must work to bring about peace and prosperity in nations that are less fortunate than ours. This requires the commitment of the whole community and we cannot remain silent. A recurring theme in our Gospel message is the need for all of us to open our hearts and minds to the plight of those less fortunate than ourselves. And so to this end, I'm inviting everyone to participate in a year-long diocesan journey, a journey to work with refugees and migrants. We'll be initiating a series of community conversations held in collaboration with several partner agencies and organizations already working in this field. Hello, my name is Carolina Gotardo and I'm the director of Jesuit Refugee Service whose mission is to accompany, serve and advocate for the rights of refugees, people seeking asylum and other forcibly displaced people. I am deeply inspired by the women and men in many agencies committed to accompany and support of refugees and people seeking protection in our country. There are committed agencies such as Catholic Care Social Services, House of Welcome and St. Vincent de Paul that are largely supported by volunteers that do wonderful work and that we work in partnership with. What inspires me the most is that people that we work with, those seeking asylum, and I wouldn't like them to be portrayed as victims, but rather as survivors. They have overcome insurmountable obstacles, they have traveled very long journeys, and have been forced to leave everything they had in order to seek protection. They are actually resilient people, and they have plenty to offer to our society and to our communities. Indifference to the struggle is not an option, and I do invite you to take action. The key will be for us as a Catholic community in Western Sydney and the Blue Mountains to open our hearts and minds, leading to a deeper understanding of the issues affecting those trying to seek a better life in our beautiful country. This will be a chance to highlight the ways of practical engagement, advocacy and support according to our various gifts and talents. I encourage widespread participation and active engagement, following up with the services and agencies that are reaching out to those seeking protection and hospitality. As I mentioned, this year's theme for Migrant Refugee Sunday focuses on children and by extension, youth. As we look forward to the year of youth, I invite our youth and young adults to bring to life the faith experiences of the Australian Catholic Youth Festival, World Youth Days, and our local faith events and formation to bring energy to this mission. I ask our students and teachers in our school system to continue to work for understanding 
and knowledge and find new ways to support, advocate and work with refugees and those seeking protection. My name is John Chinya. I know firsthand the challenges for our young people. Having had to leave South Sudan and Sudan to begin a new life in Australia is difficult, hindered by lack of education, especially for our young people and their families. I'm involved in and passionate about the education of our young people. My experience has taught me how important education is for our young people. The benefits of education are important for integration and aspiration. Education helps to break the barriers and challenges that refugees face as they have spent years in the refugee camps with limited access to formal schooling and experience violence and trauma, family suppression and loss and struggle with the resettlement process. The school has become a safe haven for young people where they can get help, enhance social control, connect you to others as the parents are not familiar with the educational system in Australia. More importantly, education can bring meaning and purpose to life that can help young people restore dignity and value. The school is a place of stability. To be a student and a young person is like everyone else and where people care to make a difference. Therefore, the overall meaning of education is a chance to achieve success in life. Let us focus our energies through collaboration I encourage everyone to help in this journey to live our gospel hospitality, helping those who for various reasons are forced to live far from their homelands so that they can grow as persons and agents of their future and for the common good. My greetings to you all on this World Day of Migrants and Refugees as we take up this journey of walking with refugees and people seeking protection. Thank you and God bless.